The U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan has been met with global criticism. In this week's London Calling, CBS News contributor Simon Bates explains how the move has impacted foreign relations. And as always, a reminder that Simon's opinions are his own, not necessarily reflective of CBSN. President Emmanuel Macron of France, highly influential in Europe, but fairly unpopular at home. He comes from a privileged background, and many view him as out of touch. But Macron has just grabbed the chance to make his name in history, to challenge America's leading role in this part of the world, which is why Monsieur Macron has spent a couple of days in Iraq, trying to establish a corridor for refugees from Afghanistan and to open up tentative talks with the Taliban. He's done all this with the tacit support of British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel. Why? Well, because it's filling the vacuum left by America's withdrawal from Afghanistan and because of the way that your president has behaved to his friends and allies. When it became clear that the exit was underway, Mr. Biden seemingly became unavailable to America's closest world leaders. He shocked them by initially refusing to come to the phone. And at a stroke, the trust between them was broken. And nobody was more offended than the British. Twenty years ago, thousands of British troops joined America in the invasion of Afghanistan. And yet it is now alleged that Britain was never informed that the Americans were about to pull out. Which is why, despite our historic rivalry with the French, Prime Minister Johnson isn't dismissing Macron's initiative out of hand. Because we might have reached a moment when some of America's closest allies have been startled and frightened into believing that President Biden isn't as steadfast and reliable as they'd hoped. If he can suddenly abandon Afghanistan without keeping them in the loop, what else might he do? So when President Macron said that French forces would stay in Iraq, no matter what Mr. Biden decides, he was putting down a marker. Could Europe be about to take out insurance against being abandoned? That's London calling for today. This is Simon Bates for CBS News in Devon.